Well, good day, Lionhearts. It's your old pal, Jordan the Lion, and we are coming to you from a place called Eldon, Iowa. And as you can see in front of me, we are pretty close to the American Gothic house. Does that sound familiar to you? It should. It's one of the most mimicked and one of the most famous pieces of art in American history. Let's go see the American Gothic house. Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. All right, we've made it to town. Now let's go see where Grant Wood's inspiration came from. Let's go see this house that he made so immortal. Here's our sign. Turn left, all right. Now are you kind of remembering what American Gothic is if you're not a big art collector? That's right, this couple. What we've kind of affectionately referred to as the old farmer couple, or at least I've heard people call it that my whole life. Much more to the story, considering especially who these two people were. I'm gonna go into the visitor center first and get a ticket because you can tour the house. There's the house over there. Now here's our artist, Grant Wood. He was actually raised in Cedar Rapids, but he used to, uh, once he graduated high school, he used to go to Europe and study art and brought some of that back with him here and put it into American Gothic. Now that's the famous painting that we know. You can see the old couple in front of the house that was a real house that Grant was out traveling through Iowa, stumbled upon it, only ever saw the house twice, and did a sketch of it and created this painting. Let's go see the house. So cool to see this. Now the story about this is that he came out, saw this house, and drew it out, and then had his dentist and his sister pose as the farmer couple. Now his sister, once she saw it, she had him, basically she said, I don't want people to associate me with him as my real husband, so uh, he elongated her face. She had more of a round face. He elongated her face, and um, they changed the rake that was in the dentist's hand to a pitchfork. Now this is a really interesting painting from an art perspective because Grant Wood took um, you can see all the lines that go into the construction of this house and he matched the farmer's shirt with those same type of lines and those same type of lines throughout the painting and then some of the patterns that you see up in the window um, and in the drapes, those are the same types of patterns that you see in his sister's dress or the blouse that she's wearing. Now he ended up painting this and completed it in 1930 and then entered it in an, um, like a competition at the Chicago Art Institute. It came in third place and he ended up just selling the painting to the museum for $300. Now unfortunately I was hoping that we could go in and take a tour, but they, and they do offer tours, however, what I had seen online was I thought that there was a woman who had bought this house and had it open for tours every day, but apparently um, it's only open one day a month and there's no furniture, so it's not um, originally furnished the same way as it was. We wouldn't have known anyway because it's a painting. American Gothic House, 1881. And here you can see it's on the historical register of, or the National Historical Register. There you can see it says open the second Saturday of the month. Now, like I said, this is one of the most parodied pieces of art in the world. I mean, if you saw the movie Son-in-Law, the cover of Son-in-Law was a depiction of American Gothic. And if you Google it, you will see so many different things that were inspired by this picture, this house, this painting. Now, this is the most famous piece of art that Grant Wood is known for and it was somewhat conflicting for the time because 
this was kind of a transitional period in America where people that more people used to live on farms than in the city it was transitioning into being about 50 50 at the time so having this gothic style house or at least that gothic style window and this old couple kind of brought the two worlds together okay i'm reading this and it says that the painting idea was to depict a father and daughter their placement and expression show a father defending his daughter and the daughter's reluctant submission and then there are the models standing next to the painting, which I believe now is at the Whitney in New York City. And then here it talks about the design elements, the creating of the art, and how he liked to um, repeat these and use, you can see he did the triangle, the house and barn roof, the circle, glasses, patterns and aprons and trees. So you can see how the trees are circular with his eyes and the brooch. Now this is talking about the curtain and how some people notice that the curtain is different and it says that Miss Jones owned this in 1930 when um, Grant Wood came out and she saw him sketching her home in August of 1930. She called her daughter to come help clean the house inside and out. They took down the lace curtains from the upstairs window, washed and stretched them. Then they sat on the porch and waited but Wood never came back. Wood decided he had everything he needed to compose his painting, so he did not return to make any further sketches. And then it says, imagine their surprise when Wood created his own curtain to use in the window. The curtain hanging in the window today was made to look as close to the curtain Wood imagined for the painting. And right here in the standing point, you can see they mimicked the Gothic window up there. So let's take a look at the style of curtain that they have in there now the house then here it talks about that before he went to Munich his work was very impressionistic but the style was different from his later works that most people would not recognize them as his he called his new style decorative later coined regionalism which reflected elements of the German realism but with simplified elements such as rounded trees and hills demonstrated in this painting right here young corn you know what else standing here reminds me of green acres <laughs> green acres we are here bump bump and then here it says that wood promoted regionalism by assisting developing other artists from in 1932 and 1933 at stone city art colony Wooden other instructors were a huge inspiration for students who attended the colony. All right, let's go inside and check out some of the museum they have here. Now this is a later painting that Grant did of his sister, the same sister. This was kind of, you know, to make up to her. She wanted uh, something other than just American Gothic to be remembered by. This is talking about the influence that the painting has had on pop culture. And then that is a photo of Nan Wood, who was the daughter in the painting, visiting the house, 1973. And there she is with like an entire baseball team sitting in front of the house and on the house. That is an amazing painting, isn't it? Some little wood carvings. And then here's some of those parodies I was telling you about. There's Tom Arnold and Roseanne. Tom Arnold, son of Iowa. Then mm -hmm. here you have the movie American Gothic. There's Sean Penn and Madonna. And here's an old Cindy Crawford Pepsi ad, or Pepsi t-shirt it looks like. Paul Newman. If you take a look at this, this is something that a local man created for decoration in his yard. He, out of rebar, made the daughter and the father and the window. And then more parodies. Take a look at that, Willie Nelson. Then 
Jimmy Carter. So here someone created a rather large model of the house and from the back you can actually see inside of it. So let's take a look. Right now I'm laying on my stomach for you guys to do this. And then some cats up in the window. Look at those two. Then you bet your big pepper. I was at the Great American Chili Cook-Off. Here we have an art contest. Let's take a look at some of the submissions. And see, this is kind of what I was talking about. They're talking about here the patterns in the window were very similar to the patterns in the dress. Kind of gives you a whole new appreciation for the painting, doesn't it? It's a very creative depiction. And that is really cool. Look at that. And then this whole wall right here are all photos that people have taken here in front of the house and sent in. Isn't that neat? Couple of unicorns here. What a cool museum. Oh, how cool is that? Kind of a Dia de los Muertes depiction. That is great. I love it. This is so worth your time if you're coming through this area. Elden, Iowa, definitely stop here. Take your photo. Have fun. Of course, we have to support them by getting some postcards for some Patreons. You see what this is? Well, I've got one granddaughter that does All the good ideas I ever had came to me while I was milking a cow. If you look in this model, they're actually up here in the window looking out at us. Well, my friends, we're going to call it a day from Eldon, Iowa. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. I hope you go and take a look at that painting and really take it in. If you're ever in this area, I can't recommend this enough. Have a great night, Lionhearts. We'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Yeah.